Welcome, 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 everybody. This is D. Durrell with D. Durrell Life Solutions. I am happy to be here once again to have an intellectual conversation with you. It's been a while. You know, I do things in cycles as far as my channels, managing it, managing things and so on. So before I get started, I want to talk about some very important news as it involves my private practice, my facilities, my locations. I think that it would be very, very important and positive to the channel to talk about the day to days, the ongoing progression of my business I mean, as a professional, as an entrepreneur, and in speaking on things that relate to mental health. Not just from a clinical standpoint, but also from a business standpoint. So today, and as I posted on another channel, I successfully, successfully, I may say, completed and passed a on-site evaluation as a facility to provide case management services, community mental health services, a lot of ver variety of different services in the community that will, and I repeat, that will help and assist those in our community and abroad, I may say, but specifically in the black community. Now, I prepared for this for at least a month, very intense over the last two weeks, kind of gotten a little swayed away due to COVID last month, but that's okay. We, we managed, and we excelled at a very high level, 98% out of 100. We had very minor, very minor issues that some things we need to correct, but for the most part, 98% is pretty damn good for anyone. And so I would like to thank my staff that listens and other contractors that I have that also listen to this particular channel, not the other ones. Thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for uh, excelling at a high level. And this is not only reflective of me, but it's also reflective of your work. Appreciate your help. Now, I decided to revisit this ongoing topic within the black space of YouTube that is highly saturated with issues of the relationship between black men and black women, but from a black, black son and black mother perspective. As you all know, I do interact with people in various spaces of YouTube, particularly the black manosphere, particularly the co-ed spaces of the, of black YouTube community and also in the pro-black communities also. And one of the constant things that I hear is this issue between black women, black mothers and black sons. It's highly prevalent more than any other dynamic of family. I hear about black sons and black mothers more than black fathers and black daughters are black fathers and black sons. But the black mother and the black son is one that gets a lot of attention, produces a lot of emotion, and many people get, out, get taken out of character, 
and they start speaking on their own anecdotal experiences with their own mother that was dysfunctional. And I can understand that from a psychodevelopmental standpoint, particularly if this is all you've ever experienced throughout your life. One of the first stages of psychosocial development is trust versus mistrust. And for the most part, as an infant, you grow to trust the one that's taking care of you, and that's your mother. And as you grow and become older and more socialized with language, manipulation of objects, understanding what's around you. You start to think, act for yourself and do things that may not be in line with what your mother may want. She, she's the first teacher. She's the first, you know, your, your first teacher, your first, your first social interaction to the world. And she gives you a message. But sometimes the message is not always a good message. Sometimes the message comes in a, in a way that's not appropriate for you. Sometimes the message gets derailed. Sometimes the message is flawed. Sometimes the message is playing out negative. Now, as we listen to spaces that criticize Black mothers, they constantly talk about <clears throat> single Black mothers, um, women who have multiple kids from multiple different fathers, women not giving a damn about the children, they still want to do a high girl summer. Women who put their children off on their, 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 their mother, their, their grandmother or father or other family members. And then the sons talk about complaining of the verbal abuse, the physical abuse, the neglect, the poor interaction communication feelings of as if the mother had stunted their development instead of enhancing their development. There's a lot of blame that goes to the mother. There's a lot of situations in which these guys speak of their mothers in very negative ways. That was one YouTuber that, that if you don't know, look him up. His name is Donovan Sharp. Donovan Sharp actually said his mother and his sister were both whores. Now, this is quite common where people complain about their mothers in the manosphere and in other sectors. My mom wasn't shit. She tried to make me do this. She tried to make me do that. And I've heard, I hear this in therapy on both ends. Mothers complaining of children, children complaining about mothers, grandmothers complaining about the, the daughter who ain't a good mother, grandmother complaining about the children out of hand, that, they, that they're basically taking on as if, if it's their child, their grandchildren. But the relationship between Black men and Black women, mother and father, has been one that has resonated and has been some of my highest viewed shows now just the other day i was listening to youtube and i got messages comments from old videos that related that involved black fathers i'm sorry black mothers and sons and i noticed my most viewed videos, people watching the, the the replays, and I'm talking about old videos that I've done last year, three, four years ago. It always has a tendency to be something regards to black sons and black mothers. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a series. And that's my reason for talking today. I'm going to create a series in which I'm going to do probably a month series at least two days a week, two to three days a week, where I'm going to talk about the hypocrit the hypercritical
evaluation of black of black mothers, particularly to their sons, or just as a mother, period. I'm going to talk about the black sons who have to grow up in an environment fatherless in our community. I'm going to talk about the meshing of unrealistic expectations as, as it relates to the son's role in the home. The, un the unrealistic expectations of sons thinking that they're supposed to replace their father. They use the term son husband. I say it's nothing more but an Afrocentric form of the Oedipus complex going wrong. So I'm going to talk about these things from a counseling related perspective and from a professional perspective. I'm not one who uses anecdotal social media entertainment news as it relates to relationships and how people function. I'm not going to use that as an example because that's not representative of the average black person. So I, I would like you all to definitely, definitely leave comments in the comment section. I want you all to definitely, definitely let me know what you think about this topic because I'm going to go in deep with this because I went in deep in the past and I'm going to review some of the videos that I have done that have touched a lot of people because there are a lot of black men who are angry at their mothers. And then there's a lot of black mothers who are angry at their daughter, at their son, at their sons. And to me, the heart of this is the, the heart of this whole situation is unrealistic expectations from both parties, coupled with the fact that there's not a presence of a man. Because in the presence of a man, Some of these unrealistic expectations would have been corrected by a man in the home because you would no longer be looking for the the other party to function in areas that a man of the house is supposed to function in. So it gets murky. And what happens is that these experiences filter into relationships that black men enter. These, these issues filter into relationships that the black mother enters with other men. And it breeds dysfunction everywhere. So this is just a, a, a review of what I will talk about. There's tons of other things. I'm probably going to do anywhere between eight to 10 videos on this. And I may even do more depending on what the reaction is, but I think it's much needed and it will be used as an educational tool for those who are suffering in these issues and how they can combat it. And I will talk about it from a clinical perspective of how I would provide therapy to help people who have this issue between their mother or their son. So appreciate you for coming in. This is D Durrell with D Durrell Life Solutions.